keep two, or rather, keep one of two in the A modified division. Starting on the pole in a car he just purchased, the 37 is Rob Gordon, sponsored by St. Vitale Electric. To his outside, the 22P, that is Phil Gavel. Inside row two, this is Kevin Buzzy Adams in the 40 car. And to his outside, the 57SS is Mike Kehanning. Inside row three, Danny Staff, the 2015 winner of the Al Delane Memorial right here at Red River Co-op Speedway. He's sponsored by Regent Construction and Miller Race Engines. Outside of him, it's Jeff Davis in the 85D. Inside row four, the 29 is Ryan Karolik, that pink look, good looking number 29, Ryan Karolik in the Avonlea group of companies, number 29. Outside the A1, sponsored by A1 Environmental and Miller Race Engines, that is Ian Russo. On the back, the 48, the St. Claude Garage, Miller Race Engines, number 48, that is Jerome Gio. Jerome Gio. Winner of this one will start on the pole in the feature. The drivers drew for their starting spots coming into today. And they will start the feature by how they finish their heat races. So. The winner of this one starts on the pole in the main event. Gordon leading this one in the 37 car. Oh, look out, he's sideways and stacks him up. Oh, Danny Staff just about. What a nice piece of driving to avoid that broadside. The 37 Como Propane number 37 of Rob Gordon. It loses it in turns three and four and almost collects second place Danny Staff in the seven. So, of course, the driver that causes the yellow will go to the pit area. That's the 37 of Rob Gordon. And Danny Staff will have the restart lead with two laps officially in the book and six remaining on the AIE Bell scoreboard. Hey, our Dr. Hook Roadside Assistance Clean Team wandering around making sure the place is kept tidy, and we appreciate your cooperation with that. Don't forget at intermission time in our QX FM, QX104 FM Family Fun Zone, that's where the candy toss will be going on. And if you haven't joined the Dufresne Furniture Junior Fan Club, well, you'd better. However, hopefully we'll have them back next year. You can join it next year. You get all kinds of little treats and perks like free popcorn, this, that. And of course, uh, if you find any scraps laying around the track while well, our fire crew and safety officials always throw it in the urban mine pit recycling bin so it always ends up in the right place and our bar on the east end of the hill the Budweiser roll bar it's called roll on over there and have yourself a Budweiser our pace trucks and push trucks are supplied by Winnipeg Dodge and these are the big FM modifieds this is heat one of two we have two laps down. We'll go to the Delaware double file start here. So the second place driver, which is currently the 57, he gets lane choice. He chose the outside line. That leaves the inside for the 22 of Phil Gavel. The fourth place car is always inside row three. We're getting ready to go back to green for Odessa, Winnipeg, Northern Meats, Transtech, and Roll Enterprises. Side by side in third place, and now the 40 of Buzzy Adams working on the second place 57 of Mike Tiani. Danny 
staff in the region construction. Miller Race Engines number seven is your current leader. race in the place is for third spot Mike Gianni in the blue 57 and the 48 of Jerome Gio are doing battle there Gianni with a little bit of an edge now and a firmer grip on the third spot but here comes Gio around the bottom of the racetrack down the front straightaway with two to go Danny Stav in the region construction Miller race engines number seven comes down he'll be the first guy under the white flag Danny staff in the region construction Miller engines number seven started fifth and he picks up the checkered flag. started third he picks up second third goes to Jerome Gio in the 48 fourth goes to the 57 of Mike Tiani and rounding out the top five the number 22 Phil Gavel well Danny Staff sponsored by Regent Construction A1 Environmental and Miller Race Engines won the 2015 edition of the Al Delane Memorial Race which paid three thousand dollars earlier this month or rather last month in August and Danny staff did a great job of that it's nice to see a local guy win that there's a lot of drivers come from all over the place trying to win that very prestigious Al Delane Memorial Coming up now is your Big FM Modified Heat number two, Gavin Paul, who won last night's feature, will be on the pole. He is out of Fort Francis, Ontario. Kevin Sexton, the veteran, will join him on row one. We are racing. The X5 is Devin Gordon, the 5G Scott Greer, the 10W Ward Emery. Driving the 81 is Jordan Dure. James Wall is in the 24, the 1R Rick Delane, and the 9. Powered by a Ford out of Marquette, Manitoba, is Lee McRae. Ward Emery, your current leader here in the 10W. Gavin Paul trying to change that fortune quickly. 5G Scott Greer looking real nice on the top of the racetrack. The 57 fourth, and Lee McRae really coming through the pack now in the Johnny McRae trucking number nine. Ward Emery pulling away from the pack in that Emery Demolition 10W. However, Scott Greer gets a great drive off turn number two in the DeKalb number five. Kevin Sexton battling with the 16 of Gavin Paul out of Ontario. Sexton on the inside where he loves to race. Driving that custom EDM Simpsons Transfer 57 and battling for the third and fourth spot right now.
Scott Greer really pouring the pools on now on the 10W. Two to go. What a great race up front here in your big FM modified class. Scott Greer continues to get that good drive off turn two. He likes it a little higher than does Emory right now. What a battle. White flag is out and Greer's going around him. Yellow flag is coming out apparently. Rick Delane in the 1R is spun in turn number three and four. So two laps go back up on the AIE communications board. All right, getting set to go back to modified racing. Rick Delane still on the racetrack in the one R. So Ward Emery and the Emery Demolition K4 Equipment 10W is the leader, Scott Greer. Well, a bit of bad luck for him because he went around Emery on the previous lap, but it does not stick. We go to the last completed lap of green flag racing. So Scott Greer obviously has everything it takes to win this race in the DeKalb number 5G. However, Ward Emery now is very aware of where he is on the racetrack. So, we're going to find out here momentarily. Two laps on the AIE communications board. Third spot, the 57 is Kevin Sexton. Gavin Paul, last night's feature winner, in the fourth spot. Jordan Dure in the 81 car. We are green, green, green. Greer now going to the bottom of the racetrack this time around. They will get the white flag. One lap to go. Sexton now coming up to challenge Greer. Sexton crawls along the bottom of the racetrack. Greer a little higher. Gavin Paul battling with Jordan Dure a little ways back. Good racing out here. Checkered flag is out. Ward Emery will be the winner. Second spot will go to the DeKalb 5G. The 57 right there as well in the top three. Well, some of the heavy hitters in local modified racing here and certainly doing a great job, no doubt about that. 10W coming up to the scale area. And we'll weigh in. As we get set to go with your next class, it will be late model heat Number one, your Starbuck Credit Union late models are on deck.